Hey everyone, today I'm going to create a wheel of life in my bullet journal to help remove a grey cloud that's been following me for the past week. Sometimes when day-to-day -day life just feels a bit harder than usual and you're finding it harder to appreciate moments of joy, it can be a sign that parts of your life are slightly out of balance. The purpose of the Wheel of Life exercise is to make sure our wheel, which represents our life, is balanced. When one aspect of your life becomes the focus and the others are neglected, the wheel is out of balance. The idea is to identify different aspects of your life and arrange them around a wheel. The circle represents your life which is made up of the pieces that you've identified. You then reflect on each area of the wheel and try to assign a number between 1 and 10 to represent how satisfied you feel with each area of your life. The aim is to see if there are important things that you've been neglecting or things that you've been giving too much of yourself to that are impacting your balance. I've linked some useful articles in the description that show you different wheels with slightly different categories. I'm customising mine slightly to suit my needs. I'm preparing a Wheel of Life header using some craft paper from my Archer and Olive notepads, a black fine liner and a white jelly roll. Supplies are linked in the description. I'm using a stencil to draw my wheel to ensure that my circles and the segments within them are all equal. You start by drawing 10 semicircles, making sure the stencil is lined up straight on the page. Then turn the stencil around and line it up carefully to complete the circle. When lining up, make sure you can see the dot in the middle and a tiny bit of the lines you've already drawn to ensure that the semicircles connect up. Think about how many categories you'd like to have on your wheel based on what a balanced life feels like to you. This stencil can then be used to draw out 8, 9, 10, 11 or 12 segments to represent your categories. I originally tried to use a compass for the circles and realised I'd need to calculate and measure the angles to draw equal segments within it, using a protractor. I thought I was done with maths in secondary school. <laughs> but then decided it would be much more fun and helpful to others if I make a stencil instead, with the angles already calculated for the segments. So I now have an Etsy shop with this stencil up as my first listing. If you're interested in buying one, the link is in the description box below. You can also draw all of this by eye if you feel comfortable doing that, but I didn't even try because I think I'd just make a mess. I've identified 11 categories for my wheel, so I'll be using the 11 on the stencil. You start by drawing a horizontal line halfway through the circle. Then line up one of the lines of the triangle on the stencil to the line that you've drawn. Make sure that the corner of the triangle is lined up to the middle dot and then draw a line down to complete the triangle. You now have your first segment and can repeat this process for the remaining segments. Line up the triangle to the new line that you've drawn, make sure the middle is aligned and complete the triangle. Now it's time to write in the categories. In my will, I'm going to include business slash career, finances, giving and contribution, health. I've got two categories for family. One is wider family and friends and the other is my family at home. I have my relationship, which is my marriage, fun and recreation, personal growth, physical environment and spiritual. You then think about how satisfied you currently feel in each area by assigning a number between 1 and 10 and start colouring. Each line in the wheel represents one point out of 10. Some questions to ask yourself when making your assessment. Starting with business and career, ask yourself how you feel about your career. 
It can be about your day job, your business or your side hustle. All of them contribute to your career overall and your opportunities. For finances, you can think about how much you're spending, how much you're saving, whether you're investing. What realistic changes do you want to make to your income? You can think about this for yourself or your joint income with your partner if it makes sense to do so. For contribution, do you feel like you're giving back in any way? Whether it's volunteering, kindness, supporting causes that are important to you or giving back to a particular community. In health, how does your general health feel? Are you exercising and eating well? Are you happy with your sleep routine? In family and friends, how do you feel about your relationships with family and friends? Are you seeing them as much as you'd like? Are you enjoying your moments with them? In family, how do you feel about your family life at home and your relationships? In relationship, do you feel loved and in love? Is there anything more that you need, like quality time, for example? Fun and recreation. Are you enjoying your life and making it fun? After filming, I increased my fun level to a seven. While a number of things like holidays have been missing due to coronavirus and social distancing, I realised I've been having fun in lots of other ways instead. Personal growth is about how much you're learning and growing. Physical environment. Are you happy with the environment you're in? This may be your home or somewhere else that you spend most of your time. For spiritual, I see this as having a sense of peace and purpose. Do you feel connected to something bigger than yourself and have ways to find meaning in your life? It could be through yoga, meditation, reading spiritual books or something personal to you. The aim is to have a balanced circle. So what I'm going to do next is plot my ideal wheel of life around it. I'm being careful to think through what the realistic implications would be of changing one of the categories. For example, if I aim to get my business and career up to a 10, it would probably make finances go up too, but it may have an impact on family and other types of fun. I think I'd struggle to make everything a 10, and for me balance is more important, so I'll start by aiming for an 8 for business and career and see how that feels. Looking at my will, I can see there are categories that just require maintenance and some that I want to focus on increasing to give me a balance that I'm happy with. Next, I thought it would be helpful to write up my intentions to help me close the gap between my current and my ideal. My focus areas are the ones with the biggest gap. For me, business, finance and contribution can potentially go up together because they're all linked Growing my business will increase my income streams and all the while focusing on my work being meaningful and valuable to others too. People have actually started to reach out to me to say that they've found my content helpful or inspiring and that making journaling meaningful has really helped with their mental health and positivity, which means so much to me. It's exactly what I want from sharing. So I want to always make sure I'm providing something meaningful and valuable to others. There are some small changes to make on my wheel, like for my environment, which is my home. I'm happy with the dedicated spaces I have, but I could do with just being a bit more minimal and trying to do some decluttering. Personal growth is a 10 because over the last few months I've had to learn so many different things related to filming, photography, art, recording audio, social media marketing, the list is endless. Now I'm getting more comfortable with what I've learnt the number will drop slightly. Instead of trying to increase it again right now, I'll use that time and energy on the focus areas that I've identified above. 
Finally, I'm finishing off with a quote related to what we're doing right now. Balance is not something you find, it's something you create. I'm adding some final touches using the stars on the stencil. I hope you all found this useful. Let me know if you're planning to do something similar and let me know what you think of the stencil in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. See you soon.